if at the end of this quarantine you do not have six pack you do not have an hourglass body that is okay if you're coming out of quarantine and you don't have the next five years of your life figured out you don't have tomorrow figured out that is okay if you do have all these things that is also okay hi Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Khadija Halliday. This video project is for a course that I'm doing, Uncovering COVID-19 from a Liberal Arts Perspective, Oberlin College. This video is going to be a celebratory video of all of us who made it through the quarantine, the shutdown, despite the psychological impact that of course this entire situation has had on each and every single one of us. The inspiration for this video was drawn from Instagram and social media. I've been seeing a lot of posts saying if at the end of the shutdown you have not done this, you have not done that, then it's completely on you because this quarantine has given you endless time and if you have not used this time to achieve everything you've been meaning to achieve then that's on you, that's your fault, that's you, you are the problem. Posts like these are not inclusive of a very large number of the population for a number of reasons. So that's what I will be discussing in this video. To do this video, I asked people to help me. Friends, families, acquaintances, I had to ask friends to ask friends. So if you were just watching this video to see yourself, I have a disclaimer. I need to say something and it is an apology. You guys gave beautiful footage, but because of the length of this video, I did not want it to be past 20 minutes at all. I had to cut so much good stuff. I made sure to include everybody at least once or twice, depending on what you're saying and depending on what the question was. So I am so sorry that I had to cut so much good data. It really hurt my heart to do it. Please forgive me. I'm just gonna get started. Okay, we're gonna start the discussion, we're gonna start with the video, we're gonna start seeing you guys. For those of you who came to see your face, it's time for you to shine. Have you discovered any new artists or songs over this quarantine? Can't explain it. Bye, Chica. Breaking news from Dexter Dabs. We stuck with you by Ariana Grande. The Cure by Little Mix. Been Away by Brent Fires. Songs by Jennifer Lopez. Stutzy Slide by Drake. Meet the Who. Be the Who to My Journey by Plumpy Boss Jay Z Family Feud Dirty Hands You yes. Gotta Wash It Iconic by Chronic Love Rhythm by Routine Some of you have a lot of songs A Little Messed Up by June Sketches by Drake Report Glitter by 07 of Shake Do You Love Her by Jesse Reyes One Eternity Later Treats by Doja Gat I Couldn't Cut Down Anymore It's all good, Kayla. Thank you so much. So the next question that I asked was, I can't remember. In what room have you been spending the most time during quarantine? Most people of course have been spending their time in the bedroom. Because one is comfortable, I also have my desk in my room, so it's where I would attend online classes, I work out in my room, so yeah, <laughs> you could basically call it my man cave. I spend the most time in my room. Bed, my bedroom. In my bedroom. Not my room. Just in my room. My bedroom. My bedroom. My bedroom. So most of my time in quarantine was spent in my bedroom. Why? Because my room is not too hot. And also in my room I have my space. I like where my things are and I like a lot of me time. Where have I been spending all my time? I've been spending all my time in the kitchen. I've been cooking up a storm. I think in the kitchen. The kitchen. The time. kitchen. That would be the kitchen. I need to eat a lot. The room I spend the most time in would be the living room. That's where my table and all my books are. And it's just easier to focus there. The internet connection is stronger there. It has more light. I actually like being around my family. The dining room. That's simply because that's where my desk is located. My guy's bedroom because my bedroom tends to get hot during the day. The study room. It's very spacious and secluded. The bathroom. Strange place to be, but hey, I love it in there. Inside the house is hot, and it's nice to get some fresh air once in a while. So, my first category people who do not have ideal living situations. You being able to say what your favorite room is, you being able to say why you spent the most time in your bedroom, you having a bedroom, or you being able to have family that you can hang out with in your living room. All of these are 
lessons. All of these are things that not everyone has. So I just wanted to draw attention to this. There are people who live in toxic environments at home. It could be parents arguing, it could be siblings arguing, it could just be a lot of negative energy in that space. Abusive households. Home, where you live, is out of your control and sometimes that can really affect what you're able to do, or what you're able to accomplish. You can't just slap this generic expectation on everyone about what they're supposed to do at home because we do not know what is going on at home. So I just want to celebrate those who have been trying despite not having the best homes and those who have been trying even if you do have a really good home environment. Next question, have you at any point, why do I have a pen in my hand? <laughs> have you at any point, I'll pick that up, have you at any point felt unproductive or demotivated or just lacking in energy in general? Absolutely. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, most, most days. Yes, at times. I've been demotivated and as a result, I've been unproductive. Every single day. Yes. 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 I have. Felt unproductive. Yeah, most days. Yeah. The answer is yes. Yes, I have lacked self motivation. This semester has been my boost. It's just harder for me to go to school when I'm always home. It's been difficult. That was mostly because of the uncertainty when it came to school. Things were so uncertain that I didn't know what I would be studying for or what I should be looking towards. Like, are we going to go back? When are we going to have exams? It was very hard for me to stay focused. Just having to roll out some bed to go to my computer or my phone to text my teachers or see if I have any classes or assignments. It's just harder to do. I felt like I could be doing stuff but I didn't feel like doing it or I wasn't in the right headspace. I felt like, oh my goodness, my life is being wasted. And I would get upset at myself about it. Actually, during this quarantine, I've been more unproductive than productive. Which I'm not proud of. I'm really not proud of it and I'm trying to change that. It's extremely overwhelming and it's just too much. With this question, I'd like to bring up two other categories of people. Firstly, people with mental illnesses, depression, anxiety, PTSD, addictions, just in general. Quarantine is isolation. Isolation is being in your head. It's very clear how this time can really affect people already struggling, okay? Coming out alive at the, after all of this, this is really what we should be celebrating. Don't get me wrong, it's really good that all of us are really maximizing our time and accomplishing a lot with new skills and whatnot, but some of us who can't, some of us who just don't have the mental capacity to do it, well done for making it to The next category of people, number three, people who are experiencing burnout. People who have been operating at high stress levels for the past few months or even years prior to the pandemic and the shutdown, students, people who have been working, people who have been really stressed out with careers, family-wise, whatever it was, what it is, I know that there are people who have just like completely crashed because they had already been operating at such high stress levels with added stress and the anger. Just everything that's going on, if some days you can't do it, if some weeks you can't do it, it's okay. All right. There is a tweet, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, the next question was, what have you learned? I mean, I've learned that I love fried planting and that my dog makes me feel less stressed if that's possible. Getting to wake up in my bed at 8.30 for class at 9. I prefer online school. I gotta read minds. This may sound strange, but lately I've been watching countless episodes of a TV series called The Mentalist. It has basically taught me how to interpret people's facial expressions and you know body language so i've learned that one being a chef is not my backup career washing dishes is not my favorite chore i've decided to try to figure out how to solve rubik's cube this tears of dragon so many how to make cocoa tea i learned how to do new tiktok dances i learned to cook a few new things i experimented tried a few new things and I have to say, most of the times, it came out well. I have a little green thumb and came up with this amazing kitchen garden. Cooking, I learned more about my little girl. I've been doing quite a few paintings during this past quarantine. I got to finally try all those amazing recipes that I always wanted to try. I've taken this quarantine to improve my breathing skills and I've learned to 
put God first, no matter how difficult it may be or how slow the process is. I really have learned and everything happens for a definite reason, even though we may not see the reason as yet. I learned how to survive. I learned how to put all the things in God's hand because we are all out of control. There are always unprecedented circumstances that can change everything in the blink of an eye. Every setback is the platform for a major comeback. Keeping in contact with friends and family can really, really help during this time to keep you strong, to keep you going, to ease the burdens of the time, to just give a mental ease. Islands in the Caribbean should not focus on tourism as their main source of income. There are many other sectors that government should explore. They will be more profitable in the long run. Family is very important. We never know how soon they can be taken away from us. Yes, we knew this prior to quarantine, but quarantine really just pushed us. This is all new and we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves for adjusting to things that we never saw coming and have never had experience dealing with before. I've learned to be patient, you know. I've learned to be a little more patient. Be more patient. To pay more attention to my physical and my mental health. More appreciative of my errors and my faults. Quarantine. It gave me the opportunity to look at myself and look at what's going on with me. You need to be happy within yourself before you can be happy with others. When you go through these difficulties and these trials and tribulations, you tend to appreciate your success and your blessings more. Okay, so let me explain why I asked this question. A lot of people beat themselves up for not having done this, not having done that. There is no way that you could have come out of this quarantine without having not learned anything about yourself. Or just about the world like i know you came out of this quarantine with knowledge no matter how minuscule you think it is there are things that you know now that you did not know then <sighs> guys learning is an accomplishment learning is an achievement learning is something that you did so well done for learning <laughs> okay i think the struggle during this time is if you didn't lose your job or if no one for you died, you had no reason to be ungrateful. You had to be grateful. And if somebody says, how are you? And you try to express that you're not doing well, they said, but you didn't lose your job or that kind of thing. Um, I think there needs to be a balance where it's not just the worst affected that suffers from issues during this time, but those who seem to carry on in a certain amount of normalcy are also affected. Just because you do not have this struggle does not mean that you're not allowed to have the feeling that this struggle could cause. Just because you are in a position that seems minor in comparison to what they're going through, that does not negate the feelings that you're experiencing. Like I'm not promoting ungratefulness, but I'm promoting that feelings and and and, and emotions are valid. Like guilt is not a feeling that you have for feeling <laughs> yeah so yeah I hope that was kind of communicative this is number four people who have lost jobs especially since we're in such an economically unstable moment that is gonna require a lot of adjusting that's gonna require a lot of brain capacity of course people who had to go to work and never got the time for themselves so people who had to carry on whilst everyone else was at home and whatnot. Essential workers. I hope whoever's watching this video, I hope you're seeing my point. There are so many different stories. There's so many different people. There's so many different lives. We're all being affected by different um, factors depending on race, class, um, economic um, status, living conditions, mental conditions. One size does not fit all. You have to know when you are struggling. It is not a sin to just have a rest day. Breaks always correlate to what's going on in your life. You have to take these breaks to remember why you love yourself. If you don't recognize it consciously, it gets lost in your unconscious. We just need to be a lot more aware. We need to be more tactful. We need to be more sensitive about the fact that we are all different. Okay, and the last question, of course, was in one word, describe how you would like to come out of quarantine. I want to come out of this quarantine change. Happier. More courageous more organized, more grateful, and aware of how blessed I am. Smarter. Adaptive. Educated. Grateful. Happy. Grounded. Goal-oriented. 
very grateful. Yes. Focus, prepare. More stronger. Yes, yes. Proper. Appreciative. Successful. Grateful. Very peaceful mindset. A stronger person. More love. To come out whole. I just want to come out a bit alive, being very honest. Alive. 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 My word would be enlightened. I just want my eyes to be more open. This quarantine. Okay, so I I think I think we're at the end of the video. This is a little message for Khadija. I don't really like to show my face on camera, but thank you for what you're doing, Khadija. It was really sweet. Thank you for asking me to be in it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for agreeing to participate. It really meant a lot. I think it was brave that you guys sent videos. I don't know if I could have done it. I couldn't have done this video without you guys. Just thank you in general. Thank you, Oberlin for um this course i really enjoyed it i learned a lot and as i said guys learning is an accomplishment no matter how small you think the learning was well done okay this is a celebration of trying your best this is a celebration of those who have been trying and succeeding this is also a celebration of those who have been trying and not being or seeing the results they wanted this is just a celebration of trialing through this and getting to here this video now <laughs> thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share you know how i end my videos i see ash spoke